specific energy critical depth the total head of any incompressible flow in the sum of its velocity head total of any incompressible flow is the sum of its velocity head which is pressure head on gamma and potential head potential For open channel flow, surface pressure is everywhere atmospheric, as we said before, so that the channel energy is balanced between velocity and elevation head only. Since the flow is turbulent, we assume that the alpha is 1. Flow is turbulent. We assume alpha equals to one. The final result is quantity called the specific energy E. A square on two G whereby is the water depth and E is the height of energy. Red line EGL above the channel bottom for a given flow rate there are usually two state possible for a given flow to a state possible possible which called alternate states for the same specific energy there is also a minimum energy which correspond to a float number of unit. This is an um, 
is really actually into the specific energy the critical depth now we are going to calculate for first rectangular channels critical depth consider the possible states at a given location uh, let Q defined as the on B and equals to V by be the discharge per unit bit of a rectangular angular chain channel discharge per unit speed of a rectangular channel then with the Q constant becomes E And Q for the rectangular section. <coughs> this figure is a plot of Y versus E. Let me write again the relation for the specific energy in a rectangular channel. Y square and Q is for constant Q. There is a minimum value of E at a certain value of Y called the critical depth. There is the minimum value of of E at a certain value of phi phi call the call critical depth by setting we can calculate y equals to for the critical depth in the rectangular channel and the function of volume flow and the geometry also can derive a relation the associated minimum energy for this critical depth 
stepped. The depth by C correspond to the correspond to the channel velocity. equals to a shallow water propagation speed from shallow water wave propagation speed C0 which was C02 we have this relation if we want to calculate and reach this BC we now from the equation by q2 let me write we had this relation for the rectangular channel critical depth which was yc equals to on g So Q2 G Y C multiply to Y C two. This is the plus T S square. So we can obtain the relation B C G Y C which was C zero. In the previous page we said in the we have a correction. G. Anyway, the depth corresponds to the channel velocity equals to the shallow water, the velocity at critical depth. For the no solution exists and does such a flow impossible and does uh, for E greater than E two solution are possible large depth
Karl der Subkritikan. And for the small depth, we have the plus T greater than the critical velocity and is called the super critical In subcritical flow, waves are swept downstream Waves are swept downstream Upstream is a zone of silence. And a small obstruction in the flow will create a wedge shaped wave exactly analogous to the Mach waves. Small obstruction. in the flow will create a wedge shaped wave Exactly analogous with the Mach number base. The angle of this base must be Sinus inverse GY the root of GY C on V. The wave angle and the depth can be thus be using simple measurement of supercritical low velocity. The next section is the non-rectangular channel critical depth.